In this lecture, we're going to continue talking about the trigonometric integration. In the last lecture, we discussed how to integrate the sun and cosine and their combination. In this one, we're going to talk about the integration of the tangent and secant. So tangent and secant and their combination. So they might be in a different power. So the tangent in the power of m, for example, and the second in the power of n. So before we start learning about the strategies, how to integrate the tangent and second, we first of all need to discuss the relationship between the tangent and second. So please let me remind you that the second of x is equal to one over cosine of x. So this is uh, the, the reason why we are going to discuss the relationship between the tangent and second is that the derivative of the tangent, derivative of the tangent of x is equal to one over cosine square of x, which is equal to the second square of x. And at the same time, it is possible to write down this equation, one minus one over cosine square of x, or we can write this as one over cosine square of x minus one. If I give you a common denominator, it's going to be one minus cosine square of x over cosine square of x. We know that one minus cosine square of x is equal to the sine square of x because one can be written as the sine square of x plus cosine square of x divided to the cosine square of x, which is equal to the tangent square of x. So we've got a couple of formulas here, right? The first formula is the derivative of the tangent is equal to the second square of x. And the second formula is that second square of x minus one is equal to the tangent square of x. So these two so the relationships are really important for us in order to introduce the integration of the tangent and second and their combinations. So the first strategy is that the power of the uh, power of secant secant should be even. So if the power of the second is even, it doesn't matter what is the power of the tangent, we can, uh, we can integrate this. So let's do an example, then we're going to try to fix this in, in, in general formula. So we, let's, let's integrate the tangent in the power of six of x multiplied to the second in the power of four of x dx. So if the power of the second is even and it's more than um, two, in this case, uh, we are going to save second square and dx separately. So if we need to write down second square multiplied to the dx separately. So it's going to be integration of the tangent of six multiplied to the second of square multiplied to the second square x dx. The reason why we wrote down the second square of x multiplied to the dx is that we can denote this as the du, right? So this can be denoted as a du. So what is going to be u in this case then? So it's going to be tangent of x because the derivative of the tangent is second square. So du then it's going to be a second square of x multiplied to the dx. So we can denote this term as the u in the power of six because u is equal to the tangent. And, uh, and about the, the second square can be written in terms of the tangent square, right? So we, have, we know that second square of x minus one can be written as the tangent square of x, right? So from here, we can find that the second square of x can be written as one plus tangent square of x. So in this case, since tangent of x is equal to the u, second square of x can be written as one plus u squared. So we can, uh, we're able to 
really denote everything was the d was the u. So the tangent in a power of six is going to be u in a power of six multiplied to the second square is going to be one plus u squared multiplied to the du. So the integration of the so the the rest is going to be straightforward, more or less, right? It's going to be u in a power of seven over seven plus u in a power of nine over nine plus the constant, right? Because if you open the brackets, you're going to have u six plus u eight, and the integration of the u six is u seven over seven, and integration of the u eight is u nine over nine. So in general, the strategy is like this. So if you got the tangent in the power of n of x multiplied to the second, the power of the second should be even. So if you remember, we denote the even numbers as a t k, where k is some integer. In this case, it should start from the t of x multiplied to the dx. So could you please tell me what is the strategy? The strategy is that you need to uh, write down second square separately, right? So it is going to be tangent in the power of n of x multiplied to z. If you, sub, uh, if you sub, uh, subtract two terms from the 2k, what you are going to have here is second of 2k minus 2 of x multiplied to the second square of x dx. So this term is going to be written as the du, right? So this term is going to be u in the power of n, where the u, please uh, note that the u is the tangent of x, right? So that is why du is equal to the second square of x dx. So, so what to do with this term? So, we, um, so in order to write this term, second 2k minus 1, minus two, sorry, can be written as the second square in the power of k minus one, right? If you remember, so if you have the exponential number and if you power up some number and power up this twice, you just need to multiply the powers. So in this case, you just need to multiply the two to the k minus one, it's gonna be two k minus two, right? So second square can be written as the one plus tangent square, which is one plus u squared. So one plus u squared and the power of k minus one. So after this re-substitution of everything, uh, we can write down our integration as a u in the power of n multiplied to the one plus u squared in the power of k minus one multiplied to the du, which can be integrated more or less straightforwardly. So number one case, the power of the second should be even. The second strategy or the second possibility is that the power of tangent is odd. Power of tangent of x is odd. Again, we're going to solve the problem and try to generalize it to some formula at the end or to some algorithm. So I've got the uh, problem tangent in the power of five of x multiplied to the second in the power of seven of x dx. So if the power of the um, tangent is odd, then yeah, so we need to try to save, extract this, one of its powers, and write this with the dx. So do you remember what was the uh, derivative of the second of x? Second of x and its derivative. So I'm going to write this as a call sign in the power of minus one of x in its derivative. So if you remember, so we need to use so called chain rule. We apply the power um, uh, uh, differentiation. It's going to be minus one multiplied as a cosine in the power of minus t of x. And additionally, we have to multiply this as a derivative of the cosine, which is minus sine of x, right? So I've got sine over cosine square of x, which can be written as the sine of x divided to the cosine of x multiplied as a one over cosine of x, right? So sine multiplied as a cosine in the power of minus t, which is equal to the tangent of x multiplied to the secant of x. So the derivative of the second is second multiplied to the tangent. So we need to write down the second and tangent together in our integration in order to introduce the du, 
right? So I'm going to write this in this term in this way. So tangent in the power of five, oh, no, so, sorry, four in this case, four multiplied to the second in the power of six, because if you remember, I need to write down this term separately. Multiply to the tangent of x, secant of x, multiply to the dx. So this term should be du, then what is the u? u should be second, right? So u is going to be equal to the second of x, then du is secant multiplied to the tangent dx. And, um, and again, we need to express the tangent in terms of the secant. We know that the tangent square of x can be written as one, uh, sorry, can be written as the second secant square minus one, right? You remember this? So, and, and, and yeah, so it's going to be written as the u square minus one. So the tangent square is u squared minus one. So now we are able to re-denote everything in terms of the u. So since ta so tangent in the power of four can be written as the tangent square in the square, right? So it's going to be u square minus one in the square. So if you remember u square minus one is the tangent square. Tangent square in the square is equal to the tangent in the power of four. So it can be written as a tangent square of x in the square, right? So multiply to that, since u is the secant, it's going to be u in the power of six, multiply to the du. I'm going to first of all open up the brackets of the first term. It's going to be u in the power of four minus two u square plus one multiply to the u in the power of six du. And then we just need to multiply all the terms and integrate everything. So it's going to be u in the power of 10 minus 2 u in the power of 8 plus u in the power of 6 du. The integration is very straightforward. It's going to be u in the power of 11 over 11 minus 2 u in the power of 9 over 9 plus u in the power of 7 over 7 plus the constant. So of course we can read and know the u was the second. So the second strategy is that if the power of the tangent is odd, so if you remember, we denoted the odd powers of the tangent in terms of the 2k plus one, right? And the power of the second is anything, for example, n, oh, let, let me write as n plus one. So in this case, it doesn't matter what is the power of the second, it might be even or odd. Multiply to the x dx, uh, sorry, not multiply, from, from the x, right? So in this case, if you've got the multiplication of the tangent in second, and if you need to integrate this, then um, the second strategy is that you should know that uh, you, you can use the strategy if the power of the tangent is odd. In this case, you need to write, so please note that this number is always odd, right? No matter what is the value for the k. And this number might be odd, or might be even, right? So the reason I wrote this as n plus one because we need to split one term of the secant uh, separately as well. So it's going to be tangent in the power of two k of x multiplied to the secant in the power of n of x multiplied to the tangent of x multiplied to the secant of x dx. Again, we need to introduce the new notation so the u is going to be equal to secant of x. Du is going to be equal to the secant multiplied to the tangent of x dx. And tangent in the square of x is going to be written as the one, sorry, secant square of x minus one or u square minus one. Good. So this term here can be written as the tangent square of x in the power of k. Right? So now we're able to read a note everything. It's going to be tangent, so, sorry. It's going to be u square minus 1 in the power of k. Right? So tangent square is u square minus 1 multiplied to the u in the power of n multiplied to the du, which can be again integrated straightforward. So now we've got the two algorithms. 
if the power of the second is even, then we need to use the first strategy. If the power of the tangent is, uh, um, is odd, then we need to use the second strategy. So what happens if the power of the secant is odd and power of the tangent is even? It's basically no of the cases um, um, matches to this case. Then in this case, there's no way to integrate this unless like you need to use your creativity, integration by parts or other integration techniques in order to try to integrate this. So let's consider a couple of examples. So in order to do this, a couple of uh, formulas which you need to know. One formula is the integration of the tangent of x is equal to the ln of c kind of x. So by the way, it can be approved, like it can be obtained using the substitution rule. An integration of the secant of x is equal to a ln of secant plus the tangent. It's a complicated formula here. Good. So if you have got like other cases, then you need to use the other integration techniques. So we know, we know so far only two techniques. One is going to be the power of the secant is even. Second one is the power of the tangent is odd.